Well, hello there. I'm the Mad Artist, and welcome to my channel. Today, I decided to paint a picture of one of our society's greatest scientists, Gwyneth Paltrow. For those who don't know, she's the CEO of Goop, her alternative medicine company, and she endorses nothing but the best science, empirical evidence, and treatments. From crystals that treat infertility to astrology, she has it all. And all of this woo inspired me to make a portrait of Gwyneth, the goddess of snake oil. Hey, editing Matt here. So, I've been working on her face for three days now. Bitch, no! <laughs> you look old as hell! And I cannot get it right. I don't know what's wrong here, but she looks kind of like a meth head. Or as one of my friends says, a gentle sleep paralysis demon that you can't look away from. <laughs> so, I'm really tired of working on her face, I'm just going to be honest, and I'm not really sure what I can do to fix it. I've repainted it now three full times, and I guess I just can't get it right. So, insert a joke here about this is what goop products do to you, like this is what your skin looks like if you use them all or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this was a fail, however I still think the video is funny, so I'm just going with it. Enjoy! So of course, the first thing we need to paint is the snake oil that she's peddling. I wouldn't be surprised if her team is coming up with this exact product. A snake in a jar, squeezed for its sweet, sweet juices. Okay, so one of the things that her company produces is a candle that smells like Gwyneth's vagina. Yes, you heard me right, it smells like her vagina, because apparently this is a supplement of some kind. Honestly, I really haven't looked into why it was made, but it inspired me. Why not just put flowers all over the place in here since she's so obsessed with her and others' nether regions? Next, if she makes a candle that smells like her beeve, why not make a shampoo that smells like her tongue? This way, it's like getting a tongue bath straight from the goddess every time you shower. Okay, let me add some more flowers now while I think of what I should add next. I think what I'm going for here is like a full page magazine ad for new Goop products. So I should add the logo at the top and hell, how about a new slogan? I think this one works. Oh, I know. I'm gonna give her six arms because that's very Hindu, very alternative medicine. But I don't understand the symbolism of the six arms or what they're supposed to mean or anything like that. I just know enough to be dangerous, just like her, so it fits perfectly with goop. So let me paint her with some extra arms, and of course she'll be holding a crystal in one of them, and oh yeah, Miracle Mineral Solution in the other, because I bet she loves that stuff. But for those who don't know, Miracle Mineral Solution is just bleach in a bottle that kills people, and uh, I'm quite certain that Gwyneth would endorse it. Finally. Let's round out some of these products. So what new lines would Goop be coming up with? I think I'll add a candle that repels actual vampires because she has a spray that repels psychic vampires. So this one is a nice compliment to that. So I'll add that over here. Um, I think I'll also have her sell a box of leeches because per the goddess, Nothing natural can be bad for you. So, leeches, of course, are natural, so of course they're great for you. Um, and then, I think just for the hell of it, because I have this empty space here, how about an astrological surgery kit? I have no idea what that even would mean. Like, I don't know what that is, but it sounds perfectly scientific and right in line with the goop philosophy. 
All right, so there we go. A perfect ad for Goop, featuring the goddess of Wu herself. Amazing. <sighs> I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like and consider subscribing. I appreciate everybody who's watching and even people who aren't watching. I've been the Mad Artist, and I hope you have a great day. What's wrong with your face? What is wrong with your face?